decision for the practitioner to make is whether to cue hard and fast or with a gradual builder. If you cue your athlete to pull hard and as fast as possible, this then enables the measurement and assessment of rate of force development in the test. How quickly can they produce force? That does then make the exercise or the test a bit more intense because they're going from a, a ready primed position into this maximal piece as fast as possible. The approach I've often taken is is actually to not worry about RFD and to focus on building the force gradually to a peak. I do value RFD as a capacity and as a measure, but we consistently see it is less reliable than some of our other measures. And when athletes are less familiar with this test, they can be perhaps a jarring if they try and do it suddenly if they're not used to it. And so my preference is just to take out that risk altogether and cue them to build up gradually to the point rather than queuing fast.